Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Steve I'm here with the winner and still champ. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh wait! Cleveland loves you, Steve Bay. What a fight! What a fight! What a round! Did that go anything like you expected? Well, he kicked harder than I thought, you know. And he put me on my ass, didn't he? I mean, I wasn't hurt, but he just put me on my ass. I felt fine. He got the guillotine, whatever. I train every day, like, you know, I'm a boxer, wrestler. But I train every day, but hey, I don't give a I want to fight him, so heavyweight champ, like I said I was. So when you got dropped here, you you weren't hurt? It was just a flash knockdown? Not even. I was just, they put me on my ass. He kicked hard as You want to get kicked by him? I will not kick either. I, I believe there was a punch too that dropped you. That was one of one of the moments in the round. It was a wild back and forth round. But when you had him up against the cage, it seemed first of all, were you shocked that he was moving away from you as much? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna hit with this. I mean, and I understand why, you know, man. He's a tough guy, he's a veteran, he's fought the best in the world. Well listen, man, I told you I'll keep his belt for a long time. Well, you kept this belt tonight, sir, and still UFC heavyweight champion. How good does that sound, sir? Oh, wait! Oh, wait! The baddest man on the planet, ladies and gentlemen, Stipe Miocic. I'm here with Alistair Overeem. Alistair, obviously the fight did not go as you wanted it to, but you did have your moments in the fight. You had him hurt, at least it looked like you had him hurt. Give us your thoughts on what happened. Stephen was the better man today. He's a great athlete, he's tough, he always comes to fight. There's one thing I can't say about the fight. I believe when I punched him and he went down, I followed him, I got him in a guillotine choke, and I clearly felt a tap. The ref didn't see it, the ref didn't jump in. So the fight continued, but in my opinion, he tapped, and um, it's a bummer. We're gonna have to go back to the drawing boards. I think I am the better fighter, but not today. You think he tapped, and you think that, did you let go when you felt like he tapped? Yes, the referee didn't, uh, didn't come in, so, but he clearly tapped. Well, let's take a look at it. We'll have the truck pull it, and let's look at the big screen. Let's take a look at it right here. You dropped him, you had him hurt, you grabbed a hold of the guillotine, you held on strong. We'll take a look at the whole thing in slow motion. Tell us when you see the tap. Here it is, you got it locked up. You felt like it was in the beginning? Did you see it there? You didn't see it there, but you felt it. We'll take a look at it one more time from another angle and see if we can isolate it, just to give you the benefit of the doubt. We'll see it one more time. Here's the punch. You dropped him. You had him hurt. You grabbed the hold of his neck. Where do you see the tap? That looks like he's trying to find his way through your arms. Well, it, it didn't look like a tap to us, but I understand that you felt that way. And thank you for a great fight. We'll see you again. Cleveland, thank you very much for the hospitality. I can only say great things about this city. Thank you until next time. Alistair Overeem, ladies and gentlemen.